Why don't we want parasite feeding a ride on our fish? Well, as you probably already know, one parasite can be bad, but a group of them together, that is real trouble. A parasite takes food away from the hosts, can cause itches, blotches, make them thin or sick. Parasites can even kill the hosts they live on. Fish have a lot of parasites, some which make fish sick and others which cause illness in people. You have probably heard on the TV about the health benefits of regularly eating fish. I can see a lot of moms and dads in the audience. I am sure you would want to cook the best food for your family you can. I'm a father. My children eat fish all the time. In fact, in Bangladesh, where I come from, there is a proverb, fish and rice make a Bengali. Fish is full of protein and essential fatty acids, which which helps keep your heart running smoothly. Fish is also very important for pregnant ladies and the developing babies. However, little is known about parasites in Australian fish. I am going to change that. My whole PhD is all about parasites, which infect Australian fish. When fish arrive at university, I take out the guts and gills and put them into water overnight. That gives the tiny parasite passengers a chance to swim out into the water. The next day, I tip the water out of the container into small dish and put them under a microscope. After that, I identify them visually and by DNA fingerprinting. So far, I have collected over thousands of parasites from the inside the fish and another thousands from the gills. Don't get too worried. Not all of them make humans sick. Although I did find some dead do. <laughs> there are four main reasons why my study is so important. First of all, the development of aquaculture industry. The sick or dead fish cause loss of income. Second, which human sickness causing parasites are in Australian fish? Nobody wants to feed sushi and sashimi to their family if it has nasty hitchhiking parasites. Third, so our doctors will know which symptoms to look out for. And finally, which fish need to be thoroughly cooked before eating. My study aims are focused on the economic well-being and health of Australians. When I go home, I hope my results can be used to guide the aquaculture industry in Bangladesh and other developing countries. Did you know that in many countries, including mine, the aquaculture industry and the fish they produce is often the difference between life and death? Then maybe onto the rest of the world. Thank you. <laughs>